My name is Wade Smith, Superintendent for Walla Walla Public Schools, and thank you for taking the time to visit and learn more about the incredible accomplishments resulting from our November 2018 bond passage. I hope you had the opportunity to check out previous bond videos, and we're going to continue to update our community and stakeholders as we make progress both at Walla Walla High School, Pioneer Middle School, and right around the road, right around the road will be Lincoln High School. Well, behind me, as you can see, rising out of the ground is an 8,000 square foot improvement to our incredible performing arts uh, productions we have here at Walla Walla High School. Behind me will house a brand new band room, choir orchestra room, as well as practice rooms and all the supports to make that happen. And then we're going to go ahead and repurpose the existing facility and repurpose it into a black box theater, as well as a green room and support for our uh, stage uh, performing arts for our student actors. Well, we're now standing on the new expansion that comes off of the front of what most people refer to as the big gym. Uh, not only will significant uh, improvements be made to the parking lot to address some of the traffic flow, ADA accessibility, handicap parking, but we also incorporated about an 8,000 square foot fitness addition uh, to our student programming. This is going to house uh, weight training uh, and other aerobic activities and exercises. Also will uh, um, house our fitness trainer for quick access to support students out on the soccer field, baseball field, and accompanying football field. Well, we're now in that core of the, the existing uh, library facility. You can see we've done uh, quite a bit of work in here. Uh, we're going to bring in fire suppression, new HVAC, uh, new data technology and electricity, as well as kind of se separate off the library and create a community use and uh, separate meeting room space from the library itself. It'll have a nice uh, roll-up glass door, a lot of uh, open, airy feel to it, but still have plenty of space for uh, library collections, uh, student uh, learning, uh, computer labs, and other um, learning spaces here throughout this area. So we're now in what most people refer to as the old science building, the one that's along Abbott Street. You can see uh, we've done significant renovation here, and as we promised taxpayers to maintain the core structure, but really going inside and improving improving all the classrooms, bringing them up to code, fire suppression, uh, electrical, uh, plumbing, and uh, the like. You can see here, this is actually going to be a future agricultural science classroom for our incredible FFA and Ag Science programs, a, a very large classroom you can see, be laid out very much like our science classrooms in the science building, and again, right adjacent to the Ag Science facility and the land lab. So we're now standing in kind of the attic space of that old science building, and what you see uh, taking place up here right now is all the infrastructure and utility work taking place. Uh, all the fire suppression, the main fire loop lines, all the new electrical coming in, feeding the classrooms. And the design work here is similar to the design in the new science building where we're going to put all the air handler units, HVAC units, and all the duct work up here, separate from the classroom space that separate not only for noise, but also when maintenance employees come up here and service and uh, work on equipment, they're not interrupting classroom instruction taking place in the classroom below. We're in one of the existing uh, classrooms in the old science building. You can see we've already have all the new electrical in, all the infrastructure in, but I want to point out one thing that was very important to our, our uh, bond and facilities planning committee was making these classrooms larger. They were so small for our current student population and size. And you can see right here where I stand is where an old wall used to be in this building. We've actually improved this classroom size and grown it by about 20% to accommodate larger student populations and more academic opportunities to occur in the classroom. Well, we're now at Pioneer Middle School along Bridge Street, uh, the front uh, access to the building. Behind me is the improvements, which includes the office and other uh, support services. Uh, that's a better line of sight, better visibility for students and parents and pedestrian access to and from the school, as well as future improvements going to be taking place right behind me along Bridge Street uh, for safety and access. Well, what you see behind me is going to be a great improvement to the amount of parking here at Pioneer Middle School. One of the challenges we've always had is limited parking space, so we have staff and visitors having to park in neighborhoods and along streets. This will be a great expanse of our parking capabilities and access as well for handicap uh, parking and better, uh, again, flow to and from the school. Well, a couple things I'd like to highlight here. You can, again, see right behind me, this is where the new uh, office will be. We're actually going to be standing up steel structure here shortly. But not only will the, are we improving, uh, again, the front office capabilities, we're also improving Bridge Street. As you can see, our sidewalks are in poor shape, the streets in poor shape. And what you're going to see here is a more safe uh, access for parents to drop 
drop their students off. Designated bike lanes and walk lanes and walk paths for students, greatly improving uh, the safety of our students while they're coming to and from campus. This project behind me will be complete by around October of the upcoming school year. And then that will allow us to move into phase two at Pioneer, which will be our brand new science classrooms that will come off the front face of the current existing facility for state-of-the-art middle school science labs uh, to improve uh, the access and the experience for our students here at Pioneer Middle School. For those of you who have ever been inside the original uh, Pioneer uh, 1950s gym, uh, we're now standing in the shell of the gym. You know, the bones of the gym uh, were in great shape, uh, but the infrastructure inside was in, in, in poor repair. Where we stand right now is where concrete bleachers used to set that were not ADA accessible and really limited a lot of the access. And below those bleachers uh, were really um, very poorly uh, constructed um, and serviceable uh, uh, female locker rooms for our female students. And as you pan around here, you can just simply see how we have emptied out the shell of this gym to greatly expand its size and capabilities, which will allow then um, basketball courts and competitions to not only um, play one way, but actually have courts both going both ways in both directions, doubling the capacity and access for our students. And what you see behind me now is the future locker rooms where those were sunken for the, the uh, male students. We've now brought those up to grade level for ADA accessibility. And so now all locker rooms will be on that side of the gym, male and female separated on ground level floor, uh, much better for supervision, again, accessibility, and bringing kind of the utilities up to standards. Well, we're now standing at what I would call the core of our new improvements here at Pioneer Middle School, kind of the guts of the school and the infrastructure. You can see behind me here, we've actually uh, salvaged and maintained some of the original 1950s uh, classrooms, repurposing those and freshening those up. And what you see before me here is going to be the new and expanded kitchen, uh, common feeding area uh, across the uh, this area right before me here. Behind you, where you see that little mini track out there, that's going to be our brand new band, uh, music, choir, orchestra classrooms, uh, state-of-the-art uh, music opportunities for our students. As we kind of pan around here, there will also be an auxiliary gym to complement, again, the, the large 1950s gym that we've maintained, a second auxiliary gym, just like Garrison Middle School, for multi-use uh, um, access and to uh, better serve the larger number of students here at Pioneer Middle School. And out before me here is going to be the large cafeteria commons that can now seat um, and serve the, the student population here now at Pioneer Middle School and that's going to tie in really nicely to the front entrance and office area uh, for, uh, for student and community access. We're now in one of the original 1950s classrooms that we have maintained and are going to be repurposing and reusing. As you look down at the floor, you can see we've uh, actually abated and removed all of the uh, asbestos-containing floor tile to put new floor covering down on top of this new decking. You can see the extensive work being done as we address uh, electrical conditions, HVAC, low volt, and technology. One of the promises we made to our taxpayers and voters is when they approve this bond, we would uh, add the capacity necessary to uh, remove all of the poor portable and temporary classrooms off the campus. And behind me right here is a, an example of how we're doing that. This is a two classroom addition that will tie in very nicely um, and aesthetically with the original uh, 1950s construction to house two additional classrooms off the end of this academic wing. Well, thank you for taking the time to learn a little bit more about this, the incredible things taking place here, both at Walla Walla High School as well, well as Pioneer Middle School. Uh, again, want to thank uh, our community for their uh, unwavering support in passing that November 2018 bond measure at unprecedented uh, passage rates. As you wrap up here at Pioneer Middle School, remember phase one will be complete right around October of 2021 with some of the core infrastructure that we had a chance to look at today. And then we'll begin phase two, fall of next school year, that four classroom science edition, which will be done in the summer of 2022.